CNN News 18 has now accessed the affidavit which in fact has been filed by the NC leader Akbar Lone. Remember the Solicitor General Tushar Mehta has opposed this affidavit which has been filed by Akbar Lone. Your lordships should read what is not written is what the Solicitor General is saying. Our viewers would remember yesterday you had the top court, the Supreme Court demanding an affidavit from the National Conference leader Mohammad Akbar Lone. Remember who had shouted pro-Pakistan slogans in 2018. Let's also now bring in our legal correspondent Ananya Bhatnagar who in fact has accessed that affidavit for us. Ananya, take us through the big takeaways. Well, definitely this affidavit basically says that, you know, Akbar Loon has said in its affidavit that he uh, pledges to and uh, is go completely goes to the oath that he had taken when he had taken uh, uh, the membership of the Legislative Assembly. He is, remember, uh, 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 you know, uh, a politician and in fact is involved in the state of Jammu and Kashmir and uh, in fact his speeches had attracted a uh, question from the Supreme Court as to whether he uh, you know uh, confines with the, uh, the Constitution of India whether his allegiance is to the Constitution of India he has now responded however uh, the Solicitor General of India Mr. Tushar Mehta opposed this affidavit that was filed by him uh, but that was filed by Akbar Loan today uh, before the top of the country Mr. Mehta clearly saying that the court should read actually what has not been written into this particular affidavit and uh, 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 going on to in fact also say that it this affidavit basically adds to the injury that was caused years ago. So basically the center is not satisfied with this affidavit that has been filed by Akbar Loan. Uh, however, the court has not made any comment on this affidavit and uh, might reflect the same in the final judgment when, uh, whenever it comes. Remember that the Supreme Court had for the last 16 days heard uh, in a marathon way this particular case with regards to the petitions challenging uh, the constitutional validity of the abrogation of Article 370 okay. that was brought in in the year of 2019 by the Modi government. The historic decision as it is hailed by the Modi government very clearly saying and in fact Mr. Tushar Mehta who was appearing for the central okay. government uh, had um, time and again told the court, court here as well that this move by the central government to abrogate Article 370 has brought in development, tourism and in fact joy to the people of Jammu and Kashmir and that's the reason why in fact this move is something that should not be hindered with and it was a very very constitutionally well prepared move that was brought in. However, on the contrary of it, the petitioners including uh, uh, who were being led by a senior advocates couple, Sipal, Dushan, Dave, etc. have argued that this is something that is unconstitutional and should not have happened. Article 370, they said, was an integral part of the state in uh, Jammu and Kashmir okay. and should not have been removed. Okay. But uh, the centre has argued in the contrary and now the Supreme Court has reserved its order in the case. Okay, Ananya, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details.